Okay, so guys, I am gonna kind of update you guys on the prison because the prison has been updated. I've checked it out on my stream, but just for the sake of it, I did want to make a video about it. So I'm gonna jump into the police section here because this is actually where the prison has changed first. Because if you take a look around, this is not the old police base no more, is it? Didn't think so. So you can see the bounties here, which... This used to be much bigger and only in one of the bases. I'm not sure if they have multiple bases now, but I do know that prison has changed and so does has the police base. So this is kind of my first reaction to this police base as well. I have seen the prison. I just haven't seen this. Uh, weren't you able to check cameras with this before? I don't actually know. Here's where the thumbnail for my stream came from. Uh, just as SWAT. Sure, let's do it. I'm SWAT anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right, so we checked out that room. We checked out that room. So then there's over here... Oh, that's my own clothing. Wait, there's stuff over here. Okay, so this is the dog area. This is now the outside area, but... Oh, I thought... Wait, so the spoon escapes over here, and then if you get over here, you can go in here, I suppose. Okay. Um, that's cool. Yeah, spoon escapes back. All right, and then this leads to the prison. So let's check it out, huh? Okay, so with the football, football field right here... I don't think much has changed, but I do remember that in Chapter 1, there used to be a glitch here where you could crouch... Then press your phone because like physics work work uh, work differently then so like y your phone would actually show up like you would actually hold a phone your head would look down and then like you could crouch under this like like this and then you could crouch under it and then you'd unpress your phone your head would get stuck there and you could jump because whenever you crouched and took out your phone that made you a that, g that gave you the ability to jump while you're crouching in chapter one and then you could like jump over the thing here i'm sure a lot of people know what i'm talking about uh anyway the towers however have not changed much the only thing that have has really changed is like the texture of the wall so i'm not going to be going around the whole wall uh not really the football thing also hasn't changed still has the same sound it's it's really really, really that simple uh, there's still a snowy theme going on, so that's cool. But, if we go to this area right here, this has been updated. This is different. This did not look like this before. And I actually find this one quite interesting. Because I did not know Roblox skeletons looked like this. Also, I did not know this thing really told you that breaks were detected. I actually did not know that, even though there's literally nobody on this bed. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so look, because this one doesn't, and then this one does. Huh. I actually haven't seen that before, so that's cool. Here you can do the prison job. This is like the prison job, the washing machine one. Um, I, I used to do the washing machine one all the time as uh, my mission of the prison job. So that's nice. Because that's now uh, really close to the cell block. But anyway, yeah, actually let's go to the cell block. So like, nah, let's go over here first. This is also fun. So this is an area that was in chapter one. It kind of got revamped. And what's really cool now is that you can stamp this. Like, I'm not sure when, like, or if I can even do that as a cop. But, like, as a criminal, you're able to stamp this. And then if you ju get it just right on one of the uh, thingies, you get XP or money or something like that. I'm pretty sure. Because I've done that on stream. It was kind of fun. Uh, unfortunately, unlike Chapter 1, you can't get on this anymore. So that's unfortunate. A day since last incident. This is something new. And this is probably inaccurate because it said this in my stream as well. My stream was yesterday. Actually, my stream wasn't even yesterday. My stream was two days ago, so that doesn't make sense. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Um, this got added. This is not really too much, but I did want to show it to you guys. Also, these barrels, they're new. Also, these boxes, they're also new. So, like, if you find these crates, they're also new. Like, the, um, the stuff you find stuff in, like the crates, the garbage bins, if I can even find one. It's outside over there. Should be a garbage bin. Like, these... And this one, those have changed. Those are different from chapter one. Also, guys, I do want to say to you guys, I was actually in the hide and seek video of CJ. So go check that out if you haven't. I should be in that video. <laughs> uh, I meant those bins and those boxes. Like, it was sort of that box, but then different design. And this bin is just completely new. All right, moving on over here. I'm just going to ignore this for now. Uh, over here, we have the cell block. The only reason these people are in trouble is probably because of um, the simple fact that if you go up there, you spawn up there as a prisoner, then, like, you automatically get put in a prohibited zone, making you uh, have an exclamation mark. But to give you an idea of one of the cells, the lights have changed, which I actually quite like this light. Um, it's really bright as well, because if you look, this is like bright white light. 
that rhymes. <laughs> and then here's the toilet. Uh, you actually do have a toilet escape, but it's not this one. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much every cell looks like this. And what I find cool is that they added this. But whenever this, the update just came out, this was kind of buggy. So wh wh when you did this, this appeared and disappeared. It was actually kind of funny. Anyway, this is the new cell block. Um, unfortunately, we cannot see out the roof right now because it's winter. Uh, it snowed. So uh, there's no looking out of the roof there. Um, yeah, basically that. All right. Now we're going to go this way because this way right here. Here we actually have the screwdriver escape. That's... that's Es escape why is a cop able to search stuff that doesn't ma that doesn't make sense anyway here's the screwdriver escape i can't really show that to you guys right now but look uh, yeah we have these new things put in here uh this wasn't here before nor was this actually and then one of the new barrels that got added like i said before and if we go this way right here we have one of the leaks that the devs posted this is the bathroom and again bins that got added as new and i think you can already guess which toilet you escape through if not look uh look again <laughs> right so moving on we go to this area right here which i actually like this they added a radiator that wasn't there before this is the new cafeteria this used to just be like three orange tables with like a bunch of long benches uh but they added more detail to it this time i actually quite like it and also, they have this right here. You can actually work here, I'm pretty sure, as a criminal. I'm not entirely sure, but I think so. And then here, apparently, when I played the hide-and-seek, CJ was up there. He made himself white, and he went up there. He made himself white and small, and then went up there. So, like, what happened is, like, because... Yeah, well, the winner, I'm not going to tell you who, who it was, actually climbed up here and saw CJ over there, which was actually quite funny. But, yeah. Uh, here's the pickaxe escape, and there is the rope escape. Well, one of the rope escapes. Like, you can escape with the rope and the ladder uh, over here. Like, they added this escape back, which I actually quite like, because I like that escape. Uh, something that they did remove, though, is uh, that this gets added as soon as you put the rope or uh, ladder down. So that way, this thing doesn't disappear anymore if you're up there, which is nice. Because that, that did happen in Chapter 1. Then if we go this way, the locker lockpick escape which I can just apparently go through, is over here. And, well, this is basically just the pipe. Uh, it's, you, you can go down it, you can escape. It's basically what it is. So that's pretty cool. Um, we have this. This is not really anything new. This was in Chapter 1 as well. It's, it's basically just this. But then we get to this area right here. This has been changed. And no, I don't have these vehicles, in case you're wondering. I do have this one. This is a SWAT one. But this has changed. This was not here before. I actually quite like this area, um, though I do think that this crate is the odd one out, considering I, this is the only place that I've seen a crate this color before, so I mean... <laughs> right, anyway, uh, moving on over here, because this has also changed. You now also have bounties here, and um, yeah, there's the open gate button, that is not new, but... Uh, oh, we have two open, open gate buttons, I didn't even know that. Well, you learn something new every day, huh? And then if you go out of the prison, like, if you do manage to get through the gates, the entrance slash, well, exit is now different. So, yeah, that is, like, that about sums up the change of the prison. But to give you guys a little extra... Wait, is this what I've... Yeah, this is the spawn police base. To give you guys a little extra taste of the prison, I think I'm going to switch to criminal and see if I can find... Um, some items and after that i'll i'll show you if uh, i I'll, I'll see if i can show you guys some escapes um got okay, found wood and because for example the toilet escape i'm pretty sure screwdriver escape i don't think has changed screwdriver escape just looks the same i'm not sure if this one has changed but i thought so because like this is this is what it looks like when you escape the toilet like via the toilet this is this is this is what it looks like now um i still don't get how this is not filled up yet because this has been going forever now so like you can get out this way which i don't want to do right now to i i think that's like the if something if an escape has changed that's the only escape that has changed the lock pick was still the same as chapter one uh, I believe the screwdriver was still the same as chapter one but to end this video off with i'm gonna switch to the cop team and show you guys an escape glitch. <laughs> hey, your boy's at it again. 
somebody in my comment section, that's the wrong way, uh, showed me a glitch that I could do. Uh, well, actually, he didn't ever necessarily show me. He more of told me. Hello. Um, okay, there we go. So what you want to do is you want to go, as a cop, you want to go outside. You want to take your hyperglider. And I think you may already know where this is going. Um, you do this. You fly in. Boom. Right. And then I suggest you leave your hyperglider out here. Because it will just be tedious driving it through there. Uh, back and forth. But if you then switch to prisoner. The cell opens. There we go. And you go over here. Look what vehicle was there. Oh. Never mind. Okay, so apparently you do need to place it in there because then it doesn't disappear. Okay, well, never mind. You do need to place it in here, but I've tried it before. It works. You can just grab the hyperglider. You can drive on out and then you can literally fly out. Like, it's actually kind of funny how that works. Well, I can try to do it again because it's it doesn't take that long to do the thing. So you do need to drive it in there because it disappears. I mean, so that's their, that's their system against... I'm still not used to the police station, dude. <laughs> oh my god, I keep getting lost. So that's their system against um, using the vehicles. Okay, I see. Well, we're gonna cheat that system because I've done that before and I'll do it again. I've che I've tested this before, but I, I was like, okay, I don't want to drive it in there because that's tedious. But you do want to drive it in there because if you don't, then this thing will just disappear apparently. Uh, so I'll just park it right here. I'll switch to prisoner. All right, perfect. We're on the bottom floor. And if this thing would just open up already, I can get on. There we go, see? And then now, yeah, all you have to do is just drive your way out of this. If I can drive my way out of this, that is. Alright, at least these guys aren't in the way, as in, they don't actually... There we go. Oh, that's, that's actually OP, using slip. Oh, no, 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 that's the wrong way. And then this way, and this way, there we go. That way, and now you should be able to simply... Oh, wait, never mind. I didn't do the Y. Oops. <laughs> you should be able to just simply fly out, basically. Baba! See? All right, so you can do that. Uh, a, a, a fan told me that in the comments. So thank you for telling me that. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you now know a little bit more about the new prison slash chapter one revamp prison. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys some other time.